Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Naomi Osaka has warned Coco Gauff, Iga Swiatek and Irina Sabalenka that she could join them at the top of tennis at the end of the year. The former world number one is in the early stages of her return from pregnancy and has already made it clear she wants to win more Grand Slam titles. Although she still needs to recover and climb back up the rankings, Osaka said it wouldn't be difficult for her to compete against the top three players in the world again. Naomi Osaka will continue her comeback in Abu Dhabi this week, after returning from a 15-month absence in Australia. The four-time major winner is 1-2 in her matches so far, and still has a long way to go, if she wants to regain the form that saw her reach the top of the rankings and win major titles. But the 26-year-old believes she could once again force her way to the top of the world and threatens to destroy the current dominance of Gorf, Swiatek and Sabalenka. I'm in a strange place right now with this comeback, Osaka said when asked about challenging the top three. I obviously have so much respect for them and everything that they've done. But I don't really see myself as a challenger, which is a weird thing. However, Naomi Osaka made a confident statement about her future by admitting that she could reach the top of the game as early as this year. The seven-time title winner continued. It's really bold to say, but I know what I'm capable of, and I know people are going to probably drag me for saying this, but I don't think it's a stretch for me to say that I see myself there. And I hope that I can get there this year, hopefully towards the tail end of the year. But if not, I'm okay with being patient, I've always been a patient person, so I'll get there eventually. So far, Osaka has struggled with difficult draws in her first tournaments. She defeated Tamara Korpic in the first round of the Brisbane International, before losing to former world number one Karolina Pliskova. At the Australian Open she met 16th seed Caroline Garcia in the first round and lost in straight sets and in Abu Dhabi it will be a difficult road again for Osaka. The Japanese star attracted a qualifier who was former world number 7 and 2022 Australian Open runner-up Daniel Collins. The winner of this duel will face top seed Elena Rybakina. I know it's better to play scrappy matches to get into the form where I want to be. Australia has taught me a lot about getting some pretty harsh draws, Osaka said so hopefully I'll get my ranking up and I won't have to play these really great players in the first round. But for right now, I'm the type of person that, even if I play the number one seed, I want myself to win, and I kind of expect myself to win, which is the delusion part. But I try not to make too many excuses. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.